What's up everyone, this is Autocus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can have pretty much infinite storage on your iPhone using this trick. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we actually get started, I just want to mention that my microphone actually broke, so I'm going to be using the microphone on my camera, and if you guys do not know, I use the Android phone, the OnePlus 5, to actually record my videos. And by the way, I just want to mention this is kind of a weird glitch on my iPhone. The notification badge is in the status bar. That's not supposed to happen. Anyways, I just want to show you guys this really cool trick on how you can pretty much get unlimited storage on your iPhone. Now, what's really cool about this is it doesn't require you to delete your photos or anything like that. It doesn't require you to delete any apps that you love. It has something to do with that, but it's actually pretty cool. So this is a feature that was introduced in iOS 11, and I'm going to introduce it to you now. So what you're going to want to do is go inside of the settings application on your iPhone. Now from here, go ahead and tap on iTunes and App Store and scroll down all the way at the bottom. So you're only gonna wanna make sure this feature is turned on. So that way it says offload unused apps. So before you click away and just think this is gonna delete all your apps, I wanna explain what this does. So the iPhone can basically track what apps you use and what apps are important to you. So basically what the iPhone will do is it will delete apps, but keep it on your iPhone home screen all the data will be saved on the cloud. So as you can see, any app that has been deleted, that information will be saved on the cloud. So that way you can tap it at any point in time and retrieve all of its data again. So what it will do is it will basically delete another app and store it on the cloud. So that way you can use this app at the moment. And then it basically just does a really good job of managing your applications and keeping it all on the cloud. So right now I'm downloading a game that I actually used to have saved data on, but you can see that it has the cloud icon on it. So the game's going to download and it's going to finish downloading. And when I tap on it, it's actually going to have all my saved game data that I had earlier. So traditionally, if you were to reinstall an application, it may or may not have your data saved, whereas this actually does. So I know I actually used to delete applications and I would lose the data because I'd be out of storage. And when I would reinstall it, maybe on another device or just reinstall it again later when I had storage, I would have all my data lost. So this is like the perfect balance of your iPhone managing what apps you do and do not use and which ones should be deleted. On top of that, if you go in your iPhone storage section, you can do the same thing with your photos. It'll actually save all your photos to your iCloud library. Now, the whole point of this video is that way you don't really have to do that, but you could go ahead and do that maybe if you had a ton of music you wanted to store on your device. But yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy. I really recommend you guys try this out. Now, I will say that I recommend doing this if you have a maybe like a large data plan. I don't really recommend doing this if you have like one megabyte of data every month and you know you get fees and stuff. That might be a lot, but it could come in handy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.